All right, boys and girls. So as we talked about things scientists need to be good at, one is making very good detailed observations. So if you please follow along on making good observations. We know quantitative observations are measurable observations. They're numerical, which means they have numbers involving our measurements and observations. They are made maybe by using a ruler, a scale, thermometer, or a graduated cylinder. They're more detailed and more precise. Quantitative, think of quantity, and they have numbers. Scientific observations are objective. This means they are based on facts and not your own opinions or personal belief. Some examples of a scientific observation from the picture to the right is you can prove the tree has red, orange, and yellow leaf. Example of a non-scientific observation is the tree is beautiful. Okay, and also think about when you make observation, it doesn't always have to be color and sight. We have all five senses to make more detailed ones. So I want you to kind of think about to yourself, if you came up with a qualitative or a quantitative observation about the dog. Okay, some other examples to the right, some facts, the age is 10 years, the weight is 130 pounds, and it has the height listed there. So quantitative, you can measure the weight of the dog and be more precise that it's 130 pounds. That would be a quantitative observation. And even though you can't actually you know, feel the dog or hear the dog, think about the sounds that dogs make, the sight, is it um, the color, does it have spots? You could also do texture, is it fluffy, is it furry, is it rough? Those would be qualitative observations. And I want to go back to the opposite of qual quantitative observations are qualitative. Okay, remember, scientists use all five of their senses, and if it's not quantitative and has, um, you know, uh, an exact measurement and involving numbers, we've got qualitative. Those are things you notice or observe using your senses. They would be see, smell, hear, touch, and taste. Qualitative observations describe the color, the texture, the appearance, the odor. Okay, but when you're doing odor, I noticed from the past, lots of times kids are using their opinions. Okay, like it smells bad or it's smelly. No, we have to think of odors that you can prove. Okay, maybe it smells sweet, salty. You can prove all of those exact um you know, smell observation. So again, it's not stinky, smelly. It's more specific, okay? Or other physical characteristics of something. So kind of to sum it up, scientists start in that scientific method with they find an observation, turn it into a problem, then ask a question that they can test. When you're making these observations, scientists have to be really good at making these observations. You've got qualitative and quantitative. You should know qualitative inv involves using your five senses, and quantitative is more precise, an observation that perhaps you measured by using a specific science tool, like a ruler, um, you measure on a scale to give more precise measurements. Or you, it could even be something like the dog has two eyes. The number two would be a quantitative observation. So all in all, remember an observation is something you notice, measure, or detect. Making an observation involves using your five senses or tools to measure describe things in our world. Scientists have to rely on these observations to describe or explain things in our natural world. Scientists also make observations in order to ask questions and then test these, obs these questions with a scientific investigation, or we call it the scientific method, about our natural world. So keep working on making detailed observations all around you, and that's what scientists do before they get to experiment. <laughs>